Hello my lovelies, oh, welcome to another fun video. I'm Yumi and today uh, I'm gonna bake some uh, buns. And it's not any kind of bun, it's uh, what we call it in Sweden at least uh, Paris buns or Parisian buns. So it's, it's just like a round bun uh, that you fill with custard and uh, put some vegan butter and dip them in sugar. So I'm gonna tell you how to make them now. I have prepared, so I have 50 grams of yeast here and I'm gonna pour 225 grams of vegan uh, well, butter or margarine, whatever you prefer to call it. So I'm just gonna start with a little bit of it. Oh, and I also have uh, some uh, oat milk in it as well. I don't remember how much it was right now. So I'm just going to pour some of it in and it's, uh, the, the batter is supposed to be like finger warm. It can't be too warm because then the yeast will die uh, and then we won't get any fluffy buns. I think it feels a little bit cold but I, I hope it will, it will, uh, they will rise anyway, rise. And that's done. I'm gonna pour the rest of it in here. And I don't like to get sticky hands, so that's why I'm wearing like this uh, disposable pull up. All right. So then it's time for the sugar. It's one that's a little sugar in it. And the sugar also makes the yeast uh, rice. So I pour that in there. And of course, you always need a little bit of salt when baking. And for this dough, I'm also going to have like one half a teaspoon of cardamom and one half, half a teaspoon of uh, salt. Mix it all in there. Mm, cardamom smells so good. Cardamom buns are probably my favorite one. And now I'm supposed to mix in uh, mix in with uh, nine deciliter of flour. But that's not fun to watch, so I'm just gonna pause a little bit and we'll see you in a second. So I now have eight deciliters of um, flour in it, and I think I'm pretty happy with that, even though it's supposed to be nine. But you have to go by the like the touch of the dough really because it's not sticking to the bowl anymore and so it's it's shaped and i also need to save some of the flour for the uh when the well the actual baking you know part when i have to do the buns so i think it's perfect right now and so i'm just gonna leave it here for an hour and while we wait for that, I'm gonna do the custard. I'm gonna show you real quick what I have uh, done here. So here I have two tablespoons of cornstarch, and then I have one and a half tablespoons of sugar. And now I'm gonna mix it up with a little bit of the oat milk which I'm gonna have one and a half deciliter of. And, but first I have to just mix it with a little bit so it won't, so I, you know, get a thick, so it won't be all like, uh, have clumps in it, you know. <clears throat> and then I have gonna have um, one and a half deciliter of uh, oat cream made for whipping. So I'm just gonna let this uh, boil a little, a little bit and simmer for a bit so it gets a little bit thick. So this is <laughs> starting to boil and get very thick. And usually custard is a little bit more yellow. This one is more white or off white. So I actually had some food, a uh, yellow food coloring. So I think I will add some of that just to get a little bit of yellow touch to it. Let's see. 
I'm gonna start with that and see how that looks. I hope this won't be like a flavor to it. Just a little bit more. Three more drops. And this one I actually have bought it a little. I had turned off the heat as well because uh, it doesn't need to boil really. It just needs to get thick. So it looks it looks a little bit yellow now. It looks darker on the camera than it does in real life. So I think I'm just gonna leave it there. And when you're done there, you're gonna add the vanilla sugar vanilla powder sugar and that's because you can't really cook it because like boil it then it will taste bitter so that's why i'm uh, putting this in now after we're done cooking the custard and it's really thick and nice so i'm really happy with that i didn't think it would be but that's fun that it turned out thick so i'm just gonna like pour this to another bowl, <laughs> bowl and i'm gonna put it in the fridge to cool down well, it's been about 40 minutes or so so let's see how, how the dough the water dough looks like now take the towel off looks pretty good to me and the sad part is that you have to destroy the fluffy dough <laughs> now so uh, after it's done you're gonna add some flour to your table which I have cleaned properly like that see just like fold it out there it's perfect um, so I'm just gonna like work with it a little bit more And you can do this buns in two ways, I guess. Maybe there's more, but there's only two that I know of. And the recipe that I was following said that you're supposed to split the dough in two and then uh, like roll it out to, yeah, and make some square, like some squares of it and put some uh, custard in the middle and then fold them up to a bun and put them in a little, a baking cup or whatever it's called but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna make a bun and put them in the oven and then make a hole in the bottom and then put the custard in there put it in there <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do uh, it seems more like less of a mess than I don't know uh, I don't know which one is smarter or it takes uh, like less time but this is what sounds uh, most convenient for me. So, making the buns. I usually use a digital scale so I can measure every uh, piece so they are like uh, the same uh, weight so they will be the same size. So this one is about 107 grams and I believe this is like a good size because they are gonna like rise again like um, and uh, so you can't make them too big because they have you have like huge buns and that sounds like fun but i don't think it's very convenient to eat them so i'm going to show you how i make them round now this is what i do just like this on the table and it turns perfectly round and i put it in by oven tray. So I just take another piece and put it on the scale again. So that was just 90 and I wanted 107. That's what we said. 109. 107. And then I just roll it like this again. And they turn perfectly around. So that's my baking tip for you today. So I'm just going to continue doing this until all the buns are done. Now, according to the recipe, these were supposed to be like 48, 48 buns. <laughs> there are nine here. <laughs> um, maybe I have to rethink and make them smaller or something. 
fast. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how this is supposed to go for, be for the eight months. That's not even possible. If I want like teeny teeny tiny ones, which I don't. Uh, so I'm just gonna half these uh, in two, and uh, yeah, hope oh, it will be eighteen. So I was thinking maybe the other recipe where you're supposed to roll and pin, maybe then it will be like more balanced in some way. Um, but I have twelve here right now, so I have to get another oven tray. Hmm. So now we're done. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, these are the little tinier ones, but hey, that, it is what it is. So now these are gonna uh, rise under a towel for 30 minutes. I have now preheated oven for 225 degrees Celsius. And here are the buns. They have risen a little bit, so I'm gonna start with these first to put them in for um, eight to 10 minutes so in the middle of the oven. Now these look golden brown and it's just time for them to cool. The buns have cooled now, so now I'm going to show you, well, how I think I'm supposed to do this. So at the bottom you have a knife and you cut like a little crisscross. And you have your custard uh, and a piping bag with like a big uh, piping thing. And just put it in there. and. Fill it up. Maybe I should do the holes first on all of them. Custard was just enough for eight of them. Uh, I might have overfilled them. We'll find out soon enough. So I'm gonna show you what to do now. This is the custard part. So I have now put some vegan butter. And I'm gonna eat it like this to make the um, sugar stay on it. And I'm just like gonna roll around in sugar here. Like that, and we have a Parisian bun or Paris bun. Let's have a little try. Mm. Not too much custard at all. Perfect. Good job, Yumi. I have to mix in more custard because that wasn't near enough. All right, I guess that would be this this for this time, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more videos like this, let me know. Or something in particular you want me to bake or cook or something like that. All right, take care of yourselves. Have a good one. We'll see. I see you next time. Bye.